Okay, clearly the Bruins have owned real estate in Roberto Luongo's head for nearly a decade now. His tweet the other night on your screen proving my point, about 20 members of the 2011 Bees team holding a Zoom reunion together, reliving Game 7 of the 2011 Stanley Cup Final, which we aired right here on Nesson. Apparently it's nightmare fuel for Luongo, who the black and gold uh, beating him, and he was actually quite terrible here, Andy Brickley, uh, during the three games in Boston inside TD Garden. That was like the hub of the nightmare fuel for him. It's good to have you here on After Hours. Did you happen to catch that gathering? What, the time machine? What were they calling it? Yeah, that was right. Uh, the 2011 locker room time machine. And uh, <laughs> it was great to see the turnout from almost 100%, you know, participated in that uh, that get together and that walk down, though, the culmination of the walk down memory lane. A lot of the guys were watching the games you know, in the chronology as it all unfolded on Nesson, you know, from each series, from Montreal, Philly, Tampa, then right through the seven games against Vancouver. So it was great to see. I really had my my fans hat on when I was watching it. I wasn't looking at it as a broadcast or an analyst. I was just enjoying the back and forth between the players, some of the chirping that was going on against Vancouver. Because if you remember how nasty that series got at it was, times, it was and any time it goes game seven, yeah. you know yeah. there's tons of emotions and and scars that may never heal if you're a Vancouver Canuck. Yeah, some of the shots that they were taking at each other even, it was just <laughs> pure comedy watching that Zoom call. And obviously we know the ending was a good one for yeah. the Boston and some, Bruins. And some of those guys have not forgotten that loss. You know, it was a good insight to see just how close a group they were. You know, even to this day with social media, uh, it's so much easier to be able to stay in touch with one another as a group. And, and when you get that sense that they won and they believe they won because of how close they were as a team.